Hello and welcome back to Roy on Rescue. A very exciting day today. I have the opportunity to actually be interviewed uh, at a morning show that's right here locally in our neck of the woods. It's a morning health and medical show and um, it's just a privilege to be part of that. So I'm getting ready to go into that, but I have a few minutes to spare and wanted to make sure that I answered some of the questions that are coming in. Now, this one that I'm going to address right now is in regards to what to do if a person has an impaled object in the chest and they need CPR compressions. We realize that it is a difficult situation to do CPR anyway, let alone when there's an object impaled in a person's chest and it may even be in the way when we actually go to do the CPR compressions. Um, the standard now is still that we would place our hands ideally with personal protective equipment on gloves that would protect us from blood or body fluid around the object, being careful that if the object is contaminated and sharp, it could pierce the gloves and still cause a problem. But we're going to be careful to go around the object and then place the hands between the breasts on the sternum, lower half of the sternum, and do our chest compressions exactly the same way, or at least attempt to do those chest compressions exactly the same way we would if there were nothing impaled in the chest at all. We're going to do this after we've activated 911 or sent somebody else to call 911, and we're going to continue these chest compressions until EMS arrives and can take over. Um, if this is two person CPR, or if you're trained and certified in CPR and you can do the two rescue breasts and the third. 30 compressions, up to at least 100 compressions a minute or more, go ahead and do both the compressions and the rescue breaths. Ideally, you'll have your one-way valve rescue mask and you'll have your gloves so you'll be protected from any type of blood or body fluid that could cause a complication and potentially be infectious. So I hope this helps, but that's the way we do CPR. Even if there's an object that's seemingly in the way, we do the best we can to try to keep circulation going. Remember that impaled objects tend to plug the hole that they make as long as they stay in place and are supposed to be only removed by the surgeons in the operating room. So from Roy and Rescue, keep on rescuing, keep the questions coming. You can tweet me those questions uh, at the at Roy on Rescue on Twitter. You can email me them at Roy on Rescue at gmail.com. But keep the questions coming, keep the comments coming, and there's more to come really soon. Keep on rescuing. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.